Hey everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil. I think we're finally ready to go to the basement. And let me just get out of this way. We are currently at the little cabin of, of Lisa. In order to get to the basement, we will need to head back to the mansion, obviously. Oh, what if I get out of this door and Lisa is just outside? So this is what I have right now. I have one of the stone and the metal object. I'm going to pick up, pick up the other one when I'm back at the mansion, out of, outside of the courtyard. Shit, I'm trapped in this place again. I just cannot find the right angle not sure how much resistance I'm going to meet on the on the way back something crazy is going to happen in that basement You know what, I'm just gonna go. I probably will never come back here, so I, I won't even bother. I hope I won't have to come back here. The thing is, I really don't know how much game left is in this game. I don't know what is my progress bar at the moment. I suspect... In fact, we, we have to be close to the end now because most of the mansion is already explored. When you look at the map, we got through the, the grand majority of the places. There are no doors left un, un, unopened anymore, except the basement. But for all I know, the basement is as large as the rest of the game. Maybe we're only at halfway point. I kind of doubt that. But I can't rule it out. And Lisa is still out there. Lisa Trevor, we knocked her down a couple of times. But she's still out there. Also we have the wolf, the Meadow of Wolf and the Meadow of Eagle still unused. Not sure what that is about. There's also that room somewhere in there, I forgot exactly where, that has a hidden room inside it that we haven't got into. So these are some of the dangling issues left in the game. I'm not sure if we are ever going to get to the bottom of all of them. Is there any need to manage our items? We have with us the the handgun, but the handgun has well, the handgun has a ton of ammo. That's why I'm carrying it. We have the grenade launcher with extra ammo. We have magnum revolver with just six shots health, and the two objects necessary to get into the basement to begin with. I think that's the best we can do. So since the other door mysteri mysteriously fixed itself, maybe this one will too. Nope. I still don't quite understand how I was able to get to the other one. But I'm re but I'm very glad that it's fixed. It's much more convenient. might be wondering like how much what I've I've, I've uh, disclosed uh, the before the fact that I had to look up or walk through so for game to get past a few 
puzzles that I was stuck at. You might be wondering like exactly how much forward I looked to. Well, the truth is I pretty much just looked at exactly what the the very next immediate steps that I had to take and nothing further. So there's still I'm still completely blind to whatever's in this. There are octangle octagonal indentations to the right and left of the door. Let's go. And one on the left. Wait, I took it back. Shit. And one on the right. Oh yeah. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take them back. Okay, immediately, what is this? It's an old typewriter. Oh, I can save my progress here. Wow, this makes me feel like I'm definitely going to die. And I actually can, I actually can do that if I want to. Hmm. Let's see, is there something I need, I want to take with me? I can take the two extra magnum shots. I think I'll take um, mixed herb with green and blue with me, just in case there's something that's going to poison me ahead. Uh, first of all, how big am I looking at? Okay, no idea. I don't know if we are still going to be able to fight Lisa Trevor one more time, maybe this as a proper boss battle. Okay, who's lighting all these candles? <laughs> this is a lot of a lot of candles to maintain. I'm pretty impressed at the shape the dispenser mansion is in, generally speaking. Okay, no way except going down. So down we go. Barry, you treacherous Jill, bastard. You're alive. No thanks to you, buddy. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start Damn. talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Jill is a badass. Oh no, Lisa. Holy shit. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. <sighs> sure. Thanks, Jill. Hey. Yeah, I decided to trust him. What the heck? Is it for ah. her at all, though? You know what? I'm gonna big, bring out the big gun. Barry, are you gonna shoot her or not? Okay, Barry does shoot her. I'm gonna get to the other side to see what's happening. An iron grate blocks the path. There must be some way to open it. I don't know. Uh, I can take this off. Holy shit! Good job, Barry. Okay, instead of wasting 
ammo on her, I think I'll just lure her away. Maybe lure her to Barry. Oh, I can't. Oh my god! Go. Can you knock her ass down for just a few seconds? It's all I need. Here. She's gonna take her some time to get back here, so it should be enough for me to do this. your gun. Our cooperation is over. I will shoot you. Okay, let's talk to him. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. What do you mean, okay? It's not... Our conversation has not finished. I probably shouldn't have used all those ammo on him, uh, on her, inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. Uh, it's, it's a letter to my Lisa. Day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by many white clothes made some of uh, mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shots, Mommy's can't think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now, so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer, we have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to the lab together. We we'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we are on the outside, let's look for Daddy together, okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. The number is 13th, 1967, Jessica Trevor. <sighs> that did not work out as at, like she had hoped. I don't know, am I packing enough heat? Maybe I should go back and manage the item, but what the heck, I can always go back, right? Right? Oh, I'm at this place. I've been wondering what this part on the map is. So, is there something in the water? A circular depression. There's an eagle-shaped emblem carved inside. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, there's gonna be another. Right here. Wolf-shaped. Okay, I know exactly what you need. It's over here. Right, this is the, which one is it? This is the wolf shaped one, so... Metal of wolf. And we mustn't forget the metal of ego. A 
What's that? Of course I took the farthest path possible to this place. Um, they hid all this in a fountain? What is wrong with these people? I thought I was just going to open the door. This is more than I bargained for. Okay, use the elevator. I'm going deeper down. Okay, I got a trophy trophy that says where the magic happens. Huge elevator shaft. There's also what appears to be some kind of water storage tank. I got a bad feeling about this. The sign reads, will not open unless in first class emergency. First class emergency? Can you, can somebody educate me about the classifications? It's the same thing. Hmm. Okay, we're going further down. Wow. We'll be emerging from the other end of the earth if we maintain this. Ink ribbons! I actually just saved the game so I don't really need to know right now, but thanks for the gesture. Oh, I have uh, a bit more space with me. Well, let's just explore the place first. But it's nice to know that we have item box on the typewriter here. Still plenty of kerosene left. Well, we actually never used the, the kerosene for the entire duration of this game. They were I want to kill these guys. Because I suspect we'll be going back and forth a few more times. That's usually how it goes. the door first. Something's on the table. Another mo disc. I still haven't worked out what the first one is about. It appears to be a disc for rebooting a system of some sort. How many of these do we need really? You know what? Um, let's try the door first. See if it opens at all. It's locked electronically. So maybe we need to reboot a system. Obviously. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, no way, man. You did not just die that way. I really just want to leave the more powerful weapon to more powerful enemies. 
and we have more daggers daggers make me happy daggers make me wanna sing tiny eggs cling to the sides of the con wait what lined with large and small containers tiny eggs cling to the sides of the containers let me see oh more handgun magazine an operating table stands neglected well I guess I really will be using a handgun a huge spinning fan could it be drawing air in from somewhere outside I don't know could it door here that supposedly can be opened. It's locked. A symbol resembling a power area is carved into the lock. What is the symbol resembling power area and how do you recognize it? Wait, is this door locked too? A symbol resembling a power area is carved. Oh, I guess we need to somehow restore electricity in the place before able to get in there that makes kind of makes sense let's try the doors that we actually can get into magnum rounds on the ground we can't we can't get it obviously not right now part of a corpse lies on the operating table that's just awesome a roll of LCD monitors they must once have been used to display something Oh, a V-actor researcher's note. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature we call them v -X. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind of crimson heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. Why not? We finally decided to freeze the specimen, oh no, and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, that's what we did. We already dealt with that. That's the Crimson Head. Okay, well, the Crimson Head is already his bit. Whoa! Umbrella Computer OS po Ropos. Copyright Umbrella. Uh, I don't know. Do we have a login and password at this point? Let's see. Uh, jail. Password, um, I don't know. Password Chris. Wait, did I spell that right? Oh no, how could it be incorrect? Can I do anything else with this? So we need to find the login and uh, a password. Information management server that appears to be broken. Oh, how about we just use the mode disk here and reboot the system? What's that gonna do? Can't use it that way. There's somebody. Oh, I think that's just a virus symbol on a mirror. Okay, <clears throat> don't come, don't come alive. A variety of chemicals you've never seen before, and there's I can't carry more. The cadavers, are, uh, the cadavers are frozen, wrapped in body bags, and I hope they stay in body bags. Oh, battery pack. gonna have to come back for that <laughs> so 
So right now we need to find a place to use the mo discs and also we need to access a computer that requires some info. General idea is to reboot electricity. Wow, this place is hell bent on giving me more health. This medical equipment looks like it was abandoned in the middle of use. What about this door? It's locked. Hmm. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now if you can just release the locks on the levers. Okay. So the levers for the levers are for locks but the levers are locked you need to unlock the levers to unlock to, to use the levers to unlock the lock got it oh there's another door here I didn't even notice before I saw that on the map What is this? I can't carry more, but what the hell? Um, where is it? Whoa! Oh, I think uh, a memo on the message board that catches your attention. There's something scrolled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, Place the initials in alphabetical order. Well, like... These things, lungs, liver, large intestine, the initials of the organs? In alphabetical order? Place them where though? There's a space to put up an x-ray photograph. So I definitely need more space to come back to figure this out. Researcher's letter, let's read that, June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have, be have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then, activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log in the system using my name and your name as the password. Ugh. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture. A rontogenogram. A rontogenogram. A genogram. I know you, and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble, but, but I'm not her. I'm not Ada, I'm Jill. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. So the password is John, and uh, oh no, the, the username is John. Uh, password Ada. Well, John Ada. Yeah, at least one of them is pretty memorable. What is the point of this? I kind of like this lighting. Um. Not too sure about it. Gail Holland.
Oh, I guess we should put the subjects in alphabetical order. Let's see what this is. Clark David. Are these the only two? Well, we'll, we'll come back and worry about that. For now, let's go to the other room and uh, put in the name and put in the names. right that's where you can well shotgun is out again okay we got this I wonder if there are Easter eggs with this system you know things you can type in and have some comical effect but I'm not just gonna sit here and try everything out John Ada here we go okay basement door lock operation select uh, I think I might I'm at uh, 2F, right? Permission denied. Try. Oh, right. We have to use another password after solving the other puzzle. That's just lovely. So we absolutely do need to go back to make some space. Fucking corpse is gone again. What the heck? So is there any difference between a max maxed out mixed herb and a first aid spray? I don't see any. Let's bring the mag in. And I think that's about it.
I will grab that later. I need the space to solve the puzzle. First. So first, let's grab that. The name is on it, Clark David. I see only two, two of these that I, that we can take. There's another one. Place the initials in alphabetical order. The other one is Gail Holland. Clark and Gale, that's the name that the game is trying to draw me to, so I'm assuming we need to place Clark in front of Gale. Is there a third one? I don't think so, so here we go, Clark. Part of it is glowing red. Ed Fisher... Alex Batchett, uh, what does that mean? What if I use the other one? Can't. How about, how about if I turn off the light? An x-ray photograph. There's a name written on it. Clark Dave, oh, I took it back. Well, I'm pretty certain it says alphabetical order, so Clark has to go first. And I assume Gail goes here. Right? Um, I think that is... I, I don't know. I have no... I, I don't know human anatomy if that's what the game is trying to get me to do and even if I do I, I I probably can't spell that out in English well the girl he was writing it for Ada that did, oh the first one is Alex this is Clark exchange the positions of the x-ray photograph no I think they're they're right there's add and there's scale did say Why is it going red? Or maybe it's not the... Uh, uh, maybe it's not the alphabetical of the name of the patient. Maybe it's trying to draw attention to the name of the organ that is being highlighted. In that case, oh boy, I think we're in trouble. Well, I think this is lawns and let's see. What, what, what did what did you do? There's no change. So the pictures of Alex and uh, Ed have not changed. Well, 
Well, this is the version where everything has a glow red, so I assume I'm doing this correctly. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Oh, I think it actually is trying to teach me. That is the esophagus, lungs, liver, large intestine, colon, small intestine. Okay, thanks for the knowledge. So the four parts we saw glowing red, that would be uh, colon, esophagus, liver, and lungs. I think that is the alphabetical order. So we just gotta do... So colon is at the first, that is, there's no problem with that. Um, this is the esophagus. Change it? No, lungs is still supposed to be here. Wait, I, I did that wrong. Uh, this is liver. So there's no, still not a problem. The alphabetical order of their names is the exact same one as their organs. I am a little confused. But you know what? Maybe right now it actually is working. I just don't know it. Maybe I should just go out and try it. Maybe everything is fine. That's not usually how this game works. But you never know. This is still locked. This is still locked. I don't see how anything could have changed. God damn it, Resident Evil forcing me to study biology. <laughs> Shit! Dead? No, it's not fucking dead. Okay, it may be down for the moment. Just don't trust it, that's all. A power that is not restored, I don't think. Maybe it'll just bypass the the second line of defense because I lined the thing right. John. And Ada. Enter password. What would if I just enter Ada again? So maybe this one? Oh, I've been trying to unlock the wrong floor.
Okay, that's interesting. So I think we managed to open one door. doing take it out cheers some more green herbs yes take the magnum rounds Oh, we are out of space again. We'll have a double back again. But you know what? That is a first world problems. We are having that problem because we have too much stuff. And you can never have too much stuff, especially in survival horror. What is it? What a great name for the genre, by the way, survival horror. Uh, there's another one here. We're just gonna ignore it and try this door. So we managed to unlock one door after all of that. Oh, more ink ribbons. More stuff. More shit to take. What is this? I can't carry it, but what the hell is it? Slide cartridge? Is that a super ink ribbon? Oh. I, don't th I think it's a more innocent type of zombie. Oh no. Okay, next time we meet him, he's probably going to... He's going to evolve into something more sinister. There seems to be something behind a sturdy door. Open it? Sure. What could go wrong? Warning! Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Well, I'll be sure to protect it. It looks like a refueling device. But refueling for what? Facts. To sanitation division. Uh... Uh, also sending to manager of sanitation from raccoon disaster contingency committee the contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender oh in that case i don't know if we should read it since you know we are not the addressee fuck it he's probably dead after reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We'll see about that. We expect a significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been affected by the T-virus and died. That is a red flag. I'll give you that. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern. I would call that two of, actually. Our secret, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect uh, many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and the stars. We strongly recommend taking measure against them first. Hmm. The security system password passcode transmission device. If you had a mode disk, you could transmit the passcode to the disk. 
What do you know? I could go back for a mo disc. That's what you're asking for. He seems to be asking for that. Uh, just in case, what? It, just curious. What is this? I can't carry more. I, I'm aware of that. Just wanna. I, I think the red one is incendiary. Shot. So I'm gonna go head back and clear more space. This place is pretty rich in substance. I'm very happy with that. Ah, oh, all this stuff that I can just take. First of all, it's most important. I have no idea what this is, by the way. Slide cartridge. There are red card of the slides inside, nothing on it. What's it for, though? I am certifiably confused. Can I maybe use it here? Of course not. Just think it's worth a try. Let's use the mode disk on this thing. Give me a password. Oh, wow. Transmitted the password seems to have unlocked uh, something. So do I actually need a three mode discs for all of this? Uh, so I have one slot left. I'm just gonna get out of here and take the, the first aid kit and see what's inside it. Oh, I actually have two slots because I used the mo disc. Hmm. Got some more herbs. Not bad. Bullet. One of them isn't gonna work it. So this is a little different than I thought. Why would it feel be exploding if it's jarred? So can I go back and grab an empty bottle from the earlier vigil experiments and grab it away with me? That doesn't sound like a great idea after being explicitly warned that it'll explode when jarred. Why jar though? This is so weird. Like it just reacts ex exclusively to jars? Like it knows it's in the jar? What about a glass bottle? Huh. Even if I go back for another mode disc, we still only have two unlocks that won't open up another door. So what we really need to do is solve the uh, anatomy puzzle. But it seems to suggest I don't need to do anything more with that room. Which is just kind of weird. I, I really do think I already got the puzzle. 
I really don't know what else I can do with it. down I wonder if we can still get up from this state Well, let's take the ink ribbons. There was a time I felt like the ink ribbons are just not gonna be enough. Now I think I have too much of them. An x-ray photograph. The skeleton structure displayed isn't quite human. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, I can't. The, it can only be used once and it's done. That's a little strange. So I definitely need something that's specifically for the to to bring the fuel out of this place. Well, I am a little out of ideas. I have a lot of locked doors. I have a puzzle that I think I finished, but nothing has happened.
check this shit out again. I just, I'm just not satisfied with how this turns out. Turn up the light. Colon. Is something. Uh, the, the liver and the lungs. They are in alphabetical order. Don't tell me they're not. Unless they let, let me see if I can find the file again. You need another password to lock the door in basement level two where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded a password into an X-ray picture. Uh, Roan Genogram, I know you. I'm sure you will be able to work it out. Well, I guess you could have done better. I'm I'm lost. I'm at a loss, guys. I'm gonna sign up today and try to figure this out. Uh, I, I do think maybe this lab is going to be the last major location to explore in this game. So I I'm I don't mind taking the time with it. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it, and I hope that uh, I, I can only hope that this is not too boring to watch. Resident Evil is not a fast-paced game. It's not a action-heavy game. Uh, it's a lot of puzzles, it's a lot of patience, and it's very addicting to play, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure it's as good to watch as a Let's Play series, but I hope it, but I hope it is, I hope you had some good time, and on that note, thank you so much for watching, you're the best, and I'm gonna see you in the next episode.